Hey folks, welcome back to This Is Rifle Country. And what I have in my hand today is a Wilson Combat Tactical Custom Rifle. And it is chambered in 6.8 SPC2. Now all you gun culture folks remember about, oh what, seven, eight, 10 years ago maybe, the whole gun world was super excited about the 6.8 cartridge. And then it went away and everyone got excited about the Creedmoor and other stuff. But the fact of the matter is, is the 6.8 SPC is still a viable cartridge and it's very viable out in the field. There are thousands and thousands of American hunters that are going out and killing hogs and coyotes and other varmints with the 6.8. Now this rifle right here, obviously I've added some things to it. What I put on top is an ACOG fixed four power scope. And on the side right here, I have the Duke Defense canted backup sights. Up here, this is a foregrip from Wilson Combat and it fits on their rail very, very well. And of course, I have a light here because in many places, such as Texas, you can kill hogs 24 hours a day, day and night. And I also have an adapter to put a can on here. Now, why did I put the canted backup sights on this gun? Let's say that you're killing hogs in the thick woods and brush of Northeast Texas or Arkansas or wherever. You shoot a hog, big hog, you see him run into the thicket. He's probably dead, but you don't know and you need to go in and make sure. So as you're walking through the thick brush, up pops Mr. Boar and he's angry and wounded. And he's only 25 yards away and you have a fixed four power scope. Are you going to want to take the time to look through the magnified scope and get a perfect sight picture? Probably not. What I would suggest instead is that you roll the gun up, use the canted backup sights, and put that sucker down. That is why they are there. So with this rifle, with the ACOG, which is zeroed at 100, I can hit 50, 75, 100, 150, 200 yards with the scope Anything that's closer than 50 yards, what I'll do is I'll just roll the gun up in my shoulder, use the backup sights, and hit it with those. Now, before I let you go, I want to talk about one thing that's very, very important, and that's the fact that firearms, especially semi-automatic firearms, are simple machines. And how do machines work and function the best? They work and function the best when they're clean and well lubricated. So before I came out to the field today, and I'm at 7,200 feet above sea level right now, I disassembled this gun, I took the Frog Lube Extreme, and I cleaned the bolt, the bolt carrier, I put it all back together, and I made sure that all the parts that needed it were lubricated so the gun would function 100% out here in the field. 